Well, hello everybody. Bart over here. Look what I found in a sitting in the parking lot. Fiat 26, just like ours. The one we had an accident in. And the same license plate. And it's from Indiana. What a coincidence. Okay, I'm just kidding. Actually, we bought another one. Um, long story short, the person we bought it from imported two of those. And uh, she had one for herself and I kind of went over to help her because the car wouldn't start and I was lucky in five minutes I was able to get the car to start and then she said the car is for sale so I just had to buy it it is exact same Fiat uh, year model is one year newer it's 1989 but it's also from Slovenia it's also an export car the color is identical so we can say that the car has been reincarnated as you remember the other one we had unfortunate accident just when I finished um, getting the car to perfection um, so hopefully uh, I'll get a little bit more lucky this time this is a uh, actually this car is a little better shape than the other one um, it for for once it has fewer kilometers or fewer miles at 53,000 kilometers the other one had 70 uh, and also this car has um, actually really cool sunroof I am not sure if this is original if this one they were put at a factory um, or somebody added it but whoever added it if it was in fact edited did a one hell of a job because it looks factory it really looks great uh, it doesn't look uh, you know sometimes they put them in and they look kind of uh, half baked or whatever but this one looks really nice so we're really happy Alex and I because we basically have our Fiat again <laughs> and uh, this one uh, needs some TLC just like the other one and I actually did done a lot of work to it already um, but uh, just really happy that we get to drive one of those icons from Poland um, so let's uh, first of all where are we today we are at the car show um, here in Carmel I think it's a Corvette car show but there's some other really interesting cars and I parked next to this Mustang uh, because of similar colors and uh, well just to show you the size differences between a car uh, from let's just say early 70s and here is the car let's just say from late 60s this is says 64 but somebody said it might be like a 67 68 so similar vintages but look with the differences American engineering or American cars compared to what we had in Easter block so a little bit about the car um, let's see what have I done to it first of all the car wouldn't start okay it wouldn't start and I went to the lady that I had that car to see if I can help her and it turns out it was very simple that capacitor over here was um, not attached it was dangling around so attaching it make the ground and the car started um, so let's see what else can I tell you um, since I've got it I uh, have done the following um, adjusted the valves um, adjusted completely overhauled the carburetor cut car wouldn't run very well um, ignition plugs everything basically all the maintenance item the only thing that I'm still overdue is the air filter I just don't have one I have to bring one from Poland and a uh, few ma minor things like you see somebody has added this kind of uh, garden hose instead of the proper hose but other than that um, it's uh, it's been completely um, I guess refurbished and it's good to go so engine compartment is is finished but let's move forward interior wise similar deal like the one before uh, this kind of uh, this, these are aftermarket I'm sorry not aftermarket export seat um, set up a little tear on the driver's seat you can see uh, but overall everything is in a very nice shape we washed a little bit the uh, upholstery and interior overall is in a really good shape look at the deluxe model it's got a radio so and it works with that X with, with that one speaker here I've actually fixed the antenna the antenna wasn't working so I've uh, added an antenna and uh, see let's go in the front here we actually saved the license plate from the one that 
we got in a crash, so I just mounted this one here. Let's go into the luggage compartment. Not too much to see here, just a spare tire and the uh, yeah, some oil and everything is in a good shape. The cart I think has been repainted, but not really any rust on it. It's actually in very good shape and you can see the black corrosion proofing. So the car has been well taken care of by somebody. Um, so we don't really have to do too much to it, really. Just uh, enjoy it. It's got still, it still has got a little bit of an oil leak, uh, but these cars have a oil leak from the half, sh half shaft seals that get out of the transmission. I want to show it to you right now. But uh, those need to be changed. Um, before, I would actually take the whole engine apart and everything. But I learned that it really is not necessary. Just take the half shaft, disconnect them from the wheels and replace the seals. And I've got them uh, coming from Poland right now. Uh, so in about a week or so, I'll change those and I think the car will be leak free. Because in the engine compartment, as you see, I can degrease everything. And there's really no leaks here. Everything looks nice and tidy. Um, so, yeah, car uh, been uh, adjusted very well. I'll show you in a second how it runs. But the car runs uh, extremely well um, after the carb's been adjusted. And, um, yeah, change the oil. Uh, and, yeah, just, just going to drive it now. I still have to work a little bit on the paint. The car has some spots here, like these some water spots and everything. I gotta repolish the the car. Um, I've done the rear hatch. You see how that looks, but I need to work on the rest of the body. So the paint is a little bit, a little little work needed for that showroom condition. But the bones are here. And one thing I wanted to ask you guys, um, maybe for comments. I've got a little bit of a problem. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I got some scratches on the windshield, but they're from the inside. I don't know if there was a dog, a little dog in here that was scratching it, but anybody knows, how can I remove the scratches from the inside of the windshield other than rep replacing a windshield, which I'm not going to be able to find in the US very easily. I would really appreciate it. Maybe they can be polished up somehow. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on a camera, probably not. But when I'm driving, especially if the sun is in front of you, I can see those. So let's start her up. Um, let's see, let me show you. See, it's got 53,000 kilometers. I think you will agree, the engine is running pretty smoothly. It accelerates nicely. Uh, when I got it, the car was a mess. Everything was kind of uh, screwed up on it. The timing was off. The carb was gunked up. It, you had to put a choke almost fully out just to drive the car. Uh, so there was, uh, yeah, it needed a lot of adjustments. But when you adjust this car, uh, everything by the book, the valve, the, the car, the ignition, the car runs really nicely. I mean, idles nicely, accelerates. No hesitation. Uh, you know, so I think these cars really can be made to run very nicely. You just have to spend a little bit of time adjust everything. The points I've replaced, uh, I put a new condenser on it, new spark plug wires. Basically, car's got a full service now. Well, anyway, I hope that you are enjoying this video. Uh, I am, uh, again, very pleased that I was able to get back into the Fiat 126. I was really missing driving it. So, uh, now I'm going to walk the show and see what cars from the different era and from a different country look like. Horsepower difference is 10 times. Uh, but you don't see those very often.
So everybody that walks to the show, actually they stop by this car first and ask what kind of car it is and everything. As they're just so unique. Thank you for watching. Send us your comments.